back towards Fresno Pacific. It's Antunez with the basketball, and Fresno Pacific starts with it, moving left to right. Antunez down to the right block, bounce pass out to the left corner, is intercepted. MC3 coming back the other way, stops the dribble above the right elbow, finds a cutting Josh Morgan to the basket, and he goes up, gets fouled, and puts it through. Josh Morgan immediately with an opportunity for a three-point play as he steps to the free throw line. The true freshman has been stellar for the beach early on. Certainly one of the bright spots for the team to start the season. Morgan averaging over six points and over four rebounds per game as his free throw is up and good. And Long Beach State with the early three to nothing lead coming with a full court press here. Inbound goes to Antunez, triple team to the backcourt, jump pass ahead to Kirby. He dribbles down to the right block, now turns it around, top of the key for Antunez, a three, excuse me, Coleman, a three, it's good. And that ties the game at three, 30 seconds in. Carter into the front court for Slater in the right corner, out to Mansell. He is at the top of the key with space above the three-point line. Near side goes to Carter. Off to Morgan, underneath for Mansell, who goes up and... Uh, Reaching up to catch that pass, he's fouled as he tried to put it up and in. So Mansell headed to the free throw line for two shots. Great to have you with us tonight from inside the Walter Pyramid is the first free throw for Mansell is no good off the back of the rim. And he'll get another. Three to three, our score, 19-17 to go here in the first half. The next free throw is good. And Long Beach State back on top, four to three. It's still coming with the backcourt pressure. McKeithen in the backcourt, trapped with a double team. Looking to get it out. Passes back underneath the basket for Antunez. He has it knocked away, gets it back, and a 10-second violation. But they cannot get it across. Long Beach State coming with a full court press here early and they force the turnover there. They have the ball back, 19.05 to play here in the first half and a 4-3 lead. Mansell the inbound near side. Bounces a pass in for Hunter who touches it for the first time. Pass to the left wing for Carter. Carter holds right of his hip. Now puts it on the floor to the top of the key. They swing it right over to Slater. 20 to shoot, Slater. Bounce pass down low for Mansell. Tipped and taken away by Fresno Pacific. McKeithen into the front court, dribbling with the right hand against Slater. McKeithen comes to the near side with a bounce pass for Antunez. He dribbles to the free throw line, terminates, goes left wing to McKeithen. He drives into the paint with a right hand, goes up a floater, no good, but he does get fouled. The foul on Colin Slater and two free throws coming here for Rain McKeithen, the junior from Washington, D.C. McKeithen, a transfer from Stetson University. Averaging over nine points per game for the Sunbird squad. They come in at 0-4. First free throw from McKeithen is good. That was his first attempt from the free throw line this Five to four lead, 18.35 to go. Here's MC3 dribbling down underneath the basket and steps on the end line. Give it right back to Fresno Pacific. 18 minutes, 32 seconds to play. Here in the first half, inbound goes to McKeithen. He dribbles with the right hand into the front court as he looks over his right shoulder out as his, out as his head coach. Bounce pass to the right wing for Coleman. Coleman flips over to McKeithen. Back to Coleman, right side for three. It's good. And the Sunbirds have an 8-4 to four lead now, doubling up the beach here early with 18-10 to go in the first half. Now Slater into the front court on the left side. Dribbling against McKeithen, out to Mansell. Off to the top of the key, MC3. MC3. Chest pass over to Mansell. He dribbles into the paint, jump stop, and has it stripped. Taken by Antunez. Ahead for McKeithen. McKeithen going up with the right hand against Morgan. Morgan blocks him from behind, and McKeithen went to the floor. No whistle. Now Slater coming back the other way with hesitation mid-flight. Reorganizes in air and lays it in with the right hand. First basket for Slater, and it's 8-6 to six in favor of Fresno Pacific. Now on the other end, Coleman dribbles down to the left of the lane. Bounce pass looking for a cutting Antunez in the paint. And it's knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Fresno Pacific. And Long Beach State will have the ball off the turnover. Down by two, eight to six. 
Michael Carter the third brings it up the floor for the beach into the front court. They move from right to left from our vantage point here on court side just to the left of the beach bench. Hunter down to the left of the lane. Jump pass down low to the right block for Morgan. He goes up, missed the shot, but gets fouled. And Josh Morgan back to the free throw line to shoot two. Morgan one for one from the line. He scored the first basket of the game and had one opportunity and completed the three-point play at the free throw line. So Morgan at the line to shoot two here, trying to add to his three-point total. Morgan looking to tie the game with two free throws here, but misses the first. Hit off the back of the rim and then shot out towards the right side. Substitution for Fresno Pacific as Alex Ferguson comes into the game. And Sean Nilanilo comes off the floor. I don't know that he touched the ball once during his time on the floor. Morgan's next free throw is in and out. Rebound tipped up by Mansell, but he's called for a foul going over the top. So two team fouls on the beach. That's the first on Rommel. And Fresno Pacific with the ball. Josh Morgan missing both free throws, keeping the beach down by two. Eight to six, 17, 15 to go. Near side, it's Kirby. Up top goes to Coleman. Off to the far side. He finds Antunez. Back to McKeith. Top of the key, dribbles to the left elbow, puts up a short jumper, and it is just that. It stays short. Rebound Hunter. Ahead for Carter. Lob down low for Morgan. Backing down in his defender, goes up with the right hand, little floater, hit off the side of the backboard, no good. And the rebound to Fresno Pacific. Slow start for the beach, they're down two. 16.45 to play here in the first half. McKeithen on the near side, pass to the top of the key for Coleman. Guarded by Slater, slings a pass down low under the basket for Ferguson. He couldn't handle, but he's able to track it down. Kicks out to Kirby, good look for three, way too strong, an air ball. They reset the shot clock, they shouldn't have. So the officials coming over now to the scorer's table as I, I don't think that three ball from A.J. Kirby hit the rim. They, re they reset the shot clock to 20. But now it's down to 11 as they ch make a change. Long Beach State's going to make a couple of changes here. Trevor Irish and Jordan Roberts into the game for the first time. It's Mansell and Morgan go to the bench. Nine seconds now on the shot clock for Fresno Pacific. Inbound coming from A.J. Kirby on the near side. And Kirby inbounds up top for Coleman. Coleman holding against Jordan Roberts, dribbling with the left hand, angling to the far side. Dribbling with the left hand now to the left baseline. And a charge is called as Jordan Roberts comes off the bench and draws the foul. Nice job there by the junior Jordan Roberts. And uh, with 16 minutes and 23 seconds left in the first half, a change coming for Fresno Pacific as Elijah Hill comes into the game for the first time. Amande Coleman goes to the bench. Long Beach State basketball with the Sunbirds leading the beach 8-6. to 16-18 to play in the first half. Carter dribbling, picks up speed into the paint, lost it at the free throw line, gets it back out to Slater left wing. Slater dribbling to the left side. Pass to Carter left of the circle. Moves left, step back three is up, it's no good. The rebound goes to a Kirby. Fresno Pacific ball up the floor, Carter intercepts a pass, finds Hunter cutting to the basket against two defenders, able to lay it in with a left hand off the glass. Nice play by Chance Hunter, and the Beach have tied Fresno Pacific at eight with 15.45 to go in the first half. On the near side, it's Hill up top to Ferguson. Pass to the far side, Kirby. Top of the key, McKeithen. Dribbles left around a screen. Driving now left of the lane. Goes up, reverse layup. Hit off the bottom of the rim, but he gets knocked to the floor, and a foul is called. It's going against Trevor Irish, and it's going to lead to a couple of Sunbirds free throws when we come back after this timeout. Drew Cobb into the game for the first time for Long Beach State. Finds Roberts on the left wing. Roberts looking down low for Irish. He's wrapped up. Pass to Hunter. Hunter has to reach out to corral it. Now off to Carter. He stands on the front of the B logo. 13 to shoot. Carter holds. 
just to the right of his hip. Now puts it on the floor, crosses over, gets a screen from Irish. Going into the paint, he's stripped. Fresno Pacific comes back the other way. Hill into the paint with a right hand, gets fouled. And Hill is down and appears to be hurt, shaken up here, but now helped to his feet. He hit the ground hard. The foul on Chance Hunter, and now two free throws coming for Elijah Hill, the Retcher Jr. from Bakersfield. Sunbirds 9, Long Beach State 8, 15 minutes, 6 seconds to play in the first half. Long Beach State going back to last year has been plagued by slow starts at home. And they started slow against USD in their first home game. It ended up being a 12-point win. They've started slow here tonight as the first free throw from Hill is good. And the Sunbirds, the first to 10, up 10-8. One more free throw coming here for Hill, who's making his first trip to the free throw line this season. Free throw up and good. He makes them both, and the Sunbirds lead by three. Now Carter into the front court for the beach. Pass to the right corner. Hunter dribbling with the left hand at the top of the key. Far side goes to Carter. He skips a pass down to the right block for Roberts. Out to Cobb to Irish left of the circle. He'll rise for a deep two. It's off the front of the rim. And the rebound goes to Kirby. Off to Hill into the front court trying to dribble by Carter. Carter trying to reach in and get the ball. Doesn't. Then a foul called on Long Beach State as it looked like Fresno Pacific traveled there. It was Coleman, or rather Hill was wrapped up. First on Carter, that foul. The fifth on the team. And Colin Slater back in as Carter goes to the bench. No rhythm to this game for Long Beach State here early on. They trail by three. Inbound goes to Ferguson up high. Pass to the near side, Antunez. Guarded by Slater. And now a whistle and another foul against Long Beach State on Jordan Roberts. That's the sixth on Long Beach State. Up from the far side, it'll be A.J. Kirby to get the ball in. Passes in up high for Ferguson. Near side goes to Antunez, guarded by Slater. Puts it on the floor with the left hand. The left elbow and an offensive foul away from the basketball going against Rain McKeithen. That's the first foul on McKeithen. Five team fouls on Fresno Pacific. And Long Beach State down three with a ball. 14-25 to play first half. Slater into the front court. Pass up high for Roberts. Roberts angles to the right wing. Pass to Hunter, dribbling around traffic. Jump pass to the free throw line. Down low to Irish on the right block. Gets it back out to Hunter. Hunter trying to drive from the wing to the lane, gets fouled. That foul on Elijah Hill. Sixth foul on Fresno Pacific. Couple of subs coming for Fresno Pacific as Jonathan Brown and Nate Kendricks come into the game. McKeithen and Kirby go to the bench. Hunter inbounding from the far side, gets it into Cobb up top. Cobb bounces a pass to the high post for Irish. Left elbow, faces up on two defenders. Zone defense for Fresno Pacific. Over to Hunter on the left wing. Dribbles to the free throw line. He'll rise. A two-point shot there. No. The rebound tipped up. Irish has it. Down low for Cobb. Tipped away, but Cobb gets it back. Now his pass tip. Slater able to corral it. Double team in the short left corner. Pass to Irish. Coming through the paint. And he shoves it down with two hands. The seven-footer with the slam dunk. And Long Beach State within one, 11-10 mess of an offensive possession there but Long Beach State able to finish with a nice two here on the right wing a head fake from Hill guarded by Roberts above the perimeter goes to the far side of the left wing for Antunez into the paint he drives kicks to Ferguson in the right corner for three it's too strong Hunter the rebound Beach with a chance to take the lead they're down one pass into the front court Slater on the right side up straight away for Hunter Hunter holds now puts it on the floor with the left hand dribbling over to the near side Hunter skips a pass down to the left block for Cobb. He spins against his defender, goes up with the up and under reverse layup. No, but a foul. And Drew Cobb doing a nice job to create the contact there. Going to the free throw line to shoot two. Cobb, three for three from the free throw line so far this season. Averaging over 20 minutes per game. Hasn't started a game for the beach, but he has played in all four. 
Three subs coming for the beach as Cobb puts up the first free throw and it is good. Ties the game 11-11. Griffin, Manzel, and Morgan back into the game for the beach. Roberts, Hunter, and Irish go into the bench. So on the floor for the beach, Cobb at the line. Jordan Griffin just came in as well. Mansell and Morgan along with Slater as Cobb's second free throw is good, and Long Beach State leads 12-11. Cobb now a perfect 5 of 5 from the free throw line on the season. Into the front court, Fresno Pacific on the near side. Antonia is dribbling against Slater. Slater goes to the ground, no whistle. Kick out to the left corner, head fake, driving to the basket is Hill. Kicks it out right wing for Ferguson, a three, no good, and the rebound to Mansell. Ahead for Cobb, up the floor quickly. Griffin, short corner right, almost traveled. Now dribbling with the left hand, kicks out to Mansell, balls into the backcourt. Mansell dives for it, balls on the floor, rolling towards the end line, picked up by Ferguson. He goes up with the right hand off the window, and that is a goaltend called against Mansell. And the Sunbirds get the bucket to go up 13 to 12. And they're also going to call a flop on Colin Slater on the play previously. So that's a warning. Dan Munson claiming that uh, Slater was off balance. It really did look like he was off balance. We saw a lot of flop calls in the game here against San Diego. Funny, it's a pyramid thing because we haven't seen one of those calls on the road in three games so far this season. Slater in the front court to Cobb on the right wing. Bounce pass up top for Morgan. Pass to the right wing, Griffin. Back, back to Morgan. Morgan fakes a pass right. Now bounces it to the right baseline for Cobb. Loses it. It's in the paint. Taken away by Fresno Pacific. Pass up ahead for Brown, two-handed slam dunk, and then he's called for a technical for hanging on the rim. Yeah, that, it, that's a call in favor of the beach. That's a ridiculous call. Uh, he did go up with two hands. Yes, he hung for a moment, but they got to have some feel for for what that call is all about as Griffin's at the line to shoot the technical free throw. And he makes it, and now it's beach ball. So the Sunbirds lead by two, 15 to 13, 12 minutes and 14 seconds to play here in the first half. A couple of questionable calls on the officials here. First, that flop on Slater, and right there, the, the hanging on the rim called against Jonathan Brown. Brown, native of London, England, the freshman, getting his first bucket of the game. Sunbirds up two. Here's Slater at the top of the key, terminates the dribble, looking down low for Morgan. They swing it out around to the right side for Cobb, driving with the left hand into the circle, stopped by a defender, over to Griffin, right back to Cobb. Got about a three, instead spins from the right of the circle, jumper hit the backboard, not the rim. And then the loose ball knocked out of bounds by Ramel Mansell, and that brings us to our under 12 media timeout. Long Beach States from El Mansell before the shot could go up from Griffin. So Long Beach State now has turned it over seven times, looking like a rather pedestrian squad so far against this non-Division I opponent here at home. Here's McKeithen driving into the paint. The kick out left, and it goes out of bounds. Nobody was home. Jordan Roberts back into the game. Mansell goes to the bench. Romel now with two fouls. First beach player to two fouls. 
11.44 to play here in the first half. Roberts inbounds to Cobb. Cobb, Roberts, Morgan, Slater, and Griffin on the floor for the beach. Griffin on the right wing, puts it on the floor, dribbles between the legs. Pass to Roberts, short corner right, back out to Griffin. To Morgan left of the circle, now Slater near side. He dribbles with the right hand into the circle, fall away jumper, no good. Cobb, the rebound, and a fresh 20 on the shot clock for the beach. Now Slater, down low, pass out, intercepted by Ferguson. Fresno Pacific ball, eight turnovers for Long Beach State. Into the front court, Kirby, out to McKeithen. Back to Kirby, they swing it left, over to Kendrick. He gives to Ferguson, who dribbles into the paint, looking for a shot against Roberts. Goes high off the glass, wild shot, no good. Cobb the rebound. Quickly up the floor, Beach in transition. To Slater, back to Cobb. Cobb with his feet on the three-point line, now backing down in a foul called on Fresno Pacific. That foul going against uh, Rain McKeithen. That's McKeithen's second foul. Eight fouls on Fresno Pacific now. Michael Carter the third coming back into the game for Long Beach State. And Colin Slater goes to the bench. So Cobb at the line to shoot one and one here as Long Beach State now in the bonus. Cobb shooting one and one. First free throw from Drew Cobb is up and it is good. He'll get another now. Long Beach State is within one. Sunbird still lead 15-14 to go in the first half. Not the way anyone expected it to go here early on as far as the score is concerned. Still plenty of time for the beach to pull away as Cobb's second free throw is good. He's a perfect four for four from the free throw line. And Long Beach State evens it up 15-15 with 10.50 to play first half. Into the front court, it's Kendricks dribbling with a right hand inside the three-point line. Now backs up above the right wing. Bounce pass down to the right block, Kirby. Kirby harassed by Roberts, gets it out to Brown for three. No off the left side of the rim, and Morgan flies in for the board. Gets it off to Griffin. Griffin sprints it up the floor to Roberts' left wing. Roberts putting it on the floor, drives to the basket, up with the right hand, splitting the defense, and he has his first bucket, finishing off the window. Beach up 17-15 with 10 minutes and 20 seconds to play here in the first half. Now on the other side, Kirby. Off to Elijah Hill. Up to the logo for Brown. Brown bounces a pass to the high post, Roberts, and Roberts called for the reach-in foul as he was able to knock it away, but that sends the Sunbirds to the free throw line for one and one. Both teams into the bonus. A lot of whistles here in this first half. Uh, A.J. Kirby to the line. A.J. Kirby has started all four games so far for Fresno Pacific. Averaging five points, four and a half rebounds. At the line, shooting one and one. No points for Kirby, three rebounds thus far. Free throw up, no good. Rebound goes to Josh Morgan. Morgan now with two rebounds in the game. Cobb brings it up into the front court, weaving through traffic. He'll go up with the right hand, able to finish off the window. Nice play by Drew Cobb. Basically going coast to coast there after the initial pass in the backcourt from Josh Morgan. Four point Long Beach State lead. 9.48 to go. Here in the right corner, Kirby with a head fake. Now Hill for three, no good. Kirby chases down the rebound. Up top for Brown. Holds against Cobb, puts it on the floor, crosses over. Drive to the hoop, jump pass out to the left side, goes to Kendricks. He's into the paint, right-handed floater is good. And that ends a two and a half minute scoring drought for Fresno Pacific and a 7-0 Long Beach State run is done as well. The beach up to 19-17, 9-21 to go first half. Here's Griffin, Carter left wing. Fakes it three, goes to Cobb in the left corner. Driving left baseline, under the basket. Bounce pass right corner, goes to Hunter. Stolen away, Fresno Pacific has it. Pass ahead, Kendricks. Into the front court. Kicks right corner, Brown. Fakes left, drives right. Now jump pass wildly out to the far side. Caught by Hill. Hill driving to the basket. Gets around three beach defenders. Lays it in with the right hand. 19 all the score. 8.48 to go. Here's Carter with the left hand, dribbling into the front court. Left wing goes to Cobb. Cobb dribbling with the basketball above the perimeter. Goes to Morgan, right of the circle. To the far side, Griffin. Crosses over, in between the legs. Step back for three. No, spun off the rim. Good box out and a rebound by Ferguson. Sunbirds basketball. A chance to take the lead. Game tied at 19. 
And a foul called on Chance Hunter on the other end. Will send Fresno Pacific back to the line. A.J. Kirby is going to head to the free throw line for one and one. Hunter's second foul. Max DeGeest into the game for the first time for the beach. Drew Cobb to the bench. 19 all our score with 8 minutes and 27 seconds remaining here in the first half. Oh, Hunter out of the game, and Breon Jackson in for the first time for Long Beach State. Free throw from Kirby up, no good. Only one player was in there at the key for Fresno Pacific. Rebound to Morgan, gets it into the front court for Carter. Off to Griffin, hands it right back to Carter. He tries a cross-court pass, it's intercepted by Kirby. Kirby coming back the other way, excuse me, Hill. Hill dribbling on the right wing. Dribbles with a left elbow, called for a carry. Eight minutes, 11 seconds to play here in the first half. And Long Beach State and Fresno Pacific tied at 19. Here's a shovel pass down low to Morgan who lays it in easily. And the true freshman gives Long Beach State a 21-19 lead. On the near side, it's Elijah Hill. Pass to Brown in the circle. Out to Coleman for three, too strong. Fresno Pacific's gone ice cold. The rebound off Jackson's hand and taken by Kirby. Now on the left wing, it's Coleman for three, no good. And then Breon Jackson has the rebound go off his leg out of bounds. And it will be Fresno Pacific basketball after this timeout. Long Beach State barely leads Fresno Pacific. It is 21 to 19 with 7.37 to play. Totally in the dark. That's what it can feel like sitting in the waiting room at other oil change places. But at Valvoline Instant Oil Change, we let you stay in the car so you get to see everything we're doing. Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Service you can see, experts you can trust. Pass intended for Kendricks off his hand, picked up by Brown. He drives to the basket, goes up with the right hand, the floater no good. And then the loose ball knocked out of bounds by Morgan. That is the third straight play that has happened, and frustration is building on the Long Beach State bench. Got to grab the ball. This is the fourth opportunity here for Fresno Pacific. Here's a quick inbound to Kirby. His floater no good. Offensive rebound to Brown. Out to the left of the circle, a three attempted by Kendricks. No good. Fresno Pacific again, ice cold. Now, finally, Long Beach State with the ball back on the other end of the floor, and Carter is fouled by Kirby as he tried to drive by him. Seven minutes, 15 seconds to play in the first half. The beach up two. Colin Slater coming back into the game. Jordan Griffin going to the bench. The beach, fortunate that Fresno Pacific has gone ice cold as they are just 0 for their last five and two for their last 10. Beach shooting 50%, seven out of 14. Fresno Pacific shooting 32%, six out of 19. Michael Carter the third at the free throw line, shooting one and one. 19 fouls now for both sides. So Carter to shoot one and one. Free throw good, he'll get another. Carter. At the line, Pyramid goes quiet, free throw up and good. That's 23-19 Long Beach State, 7.15 to go. Back with a full court press, this is how they started the game. Inbound to Kirby, passes back to Kendricks. Hendricks up ahead to Hill. Hill will bring it across across the logo. Angling to the left side. Dribbling with a left hand guarded by Jackson. Pass to the far side goes to Kendricks. They swing it near side. Now it's Hill. 
Hill, watched by Jackson, gets a screen up high from Coleman, dribbles into the circle, looking to make something happen himself, drives down low, double team, kicks to the left wing, Kendricks a three, it's no good. 0 for their last six now, the Sunbirds, and two of their last 11. Beach with a four-point lead. Carter lobs down low for Jackson. Jump pass to DeGeese. Left corner three. No. And the rebound. Jackson had it. Now it's being forced away from him. Jump ball called. Possession arrow keeps it with Fresno Pacific. 6.34 to go first half. And the Beach up by 4.23.19. So it's Carter to inbound baseline left. Carter passes to Jackson, lobbing it in up to the left side. Jackson picks up the dribble, hands it to Carter. Carter puts it on the floor, dribbling with the right hand, through the circle, into the paint, goes up, wild shot with the right hand and got it. Carter's fired up about that. Beach with their largest lead, up by six, 25 to 19. Into the front court, near side, it's Hill. Hill to the top of the key. Nealon Nilo, he gets it to Antunez, dribbles to the free throw line, float over the right hand, that's no good. Beach on a 6-0 run over the last two minutes, up 25-19. Pass down low for Irish from Carter, and Irish lays it in with the left hand. 27-19, Long Beach State, 5.55 to play here in the first half, and a timeout taken by Fresno Pacific. Looking for help. Bounce pass to a cutting Ferguson along the right baseline. Shot up and no good. And then the ball picked up by Irish. Knocked out of his hands out of bounds. Now Long Beach State basketball leading 27-19. FPU without any points over the last three and a half minutes. Inbound to Geist. Back to Carter. Carter will bring it up for the beach. 5.25 to play first half. Long Beach State leading 27-19. Carter passed the left elbow for Jackson. Jackson fakes left pass to Irish right of the circle. He puts it on the floor, dribbles once, dribble handoff to Carter. Carter driving right side of the lane, and he's fouled and headed to the line to shoot two. Not a shooting foul, but Long Beach State in the double bonus now. Now MC3 to the line, shooting two. Carter tonight, four points, two for two from the line. He's got three assists. And also three turnovers. Free throw off the front of the rim, bounces up and back through. So Carter now three for three from the line tonight. Beach is a team, now 10 out of 13. Nice job from the line. They came in as a team, 64%. They're at 77% for the game tonight. Carter, deep breath as he looks up at the rim. Spins the ball in his hands. Now the free throw up, and that one good. Long Beach State 29, Fresno Pacific 19. In the backcourt, Antunez. They get it across, Neil and Nilo. Passes left, going to Kendricks. Dribbles into the paint, kicks out. Antunez, right wing three, in and out. The rebound, Carter. Another miss, and then a foul in the backcourt. Committed by Brown. And that'll send Carter right back to the free throw line for two more shots. So Carter with the line to shoot two. Carter's free throw up. No good off the front of the rim. Carter has the ball back, getting ready for his second free throw here. FPU hasn't scored now in four minutes. Long Beach State with that good free throw from Michael Carter the third, leading 30 to 19. They are on 
a 22-9 run since Fresno Pacific led 10-8. There's Antunez into the front court to Ferguson up top to the far side for Brown. Now Nilo Nilo dribbling right of the lane. Pass back to Ferguson. Top of the key, three off the front of the rim. The rebound tipped out, taken by Antunez. Antunez into the paint, kicks out left wing. A three ball up from Kendricks, no good. Oh my goodness, Fresno Pacific. Some good looks too, they just can't hit a shot. Here's DeGeese down low for Irish, intercepted and saved from going out of bounds. It's Fresno Pacific ball. Ferguson to Antunez. Antunez brings it up the floor. Antunez into the front court. Triples between two defenders into the paint. Looking for help. Bounces it out. Neal and Nilo. They swing it left. Brown. Left corner. Gets a flyby from Roberts. Deep two. Up and good. There it is. The first bucket for FPU in four and a half minutes. And it makes it 30 to 21. Now Roberts coming down all the way to the basket. Wild shot with the right hand. Loose ball tipped out. Taken by Cobb. Beach ball with 18 on the shot clock as Cobb dribbles in the left wing. Gets a screen from Irish, dribbling with the right hand to the free throw line. The jumper up and rattles around before falling through. Cobb with the basket there. He's got eight points leading Long Beach State. Two for three from the floor, four for four from the free throw line. He's also got four rebounds. Now Brown, pass to the right wing. Neal and Nilo for three. Hierarching shot good. And all of a sudden, Fresno Pacific has made two shots in a row in the beach up 32-24. Here Slater bounces it to DeGeese, right side for three, got it. Max DeGeese knocks down his first attempt from distance, and the beach up 11, 35-24. In the backcourt, into the front court, it's Antunez driving by Slater to the left block, goes up off the window, got it. And the Sunbirds have scored on three straight possessions, 35-26. Slater along the Far sideline, dribbling with the left hand, pass to the left wing for Roberts. Bounce pass down to the left block, Cobb. Leaning back into Kendricks, puts it on the floor. Kendricks stays with him, out to Slater, left wing. For three with a hand in his face, too strong. Irish flies in for the board, under the basket, has it stripped. Ball out of bounds on the far side to Long Beach State. And that'll bring us to our final media timeout of the first half. Long Beach State, 35. Sunbirds, 26, 245. Jimmy John's takes sandwich delivery seriously. Let's go, come on. Very seriously. To the left. Yes, nice work. To the right. Enjoy. Enjoy. To get a freaky fresh sandwich delivered to your door, order at jimmyjohns.com. That it was a, a good chance for the beach to, to rest up and get some work in, but they kind of look rusty coming out here after the long break. 10 to shoot, Slater has it straight away. Dribbling with the left hand, driving left side of the lane. Tucks it away, looking to get it off to somebody and got it off to a Fresno Pacific player. Coleman the interception. Into the front court, Nilo Nilo for three, no good. And then Morgan getting the rebound. Last to touch it, going out of bounds. And officials talk and they reverse the call as the initial call was Fresno Pacific basketball. Now it's back to Long Beach State. Colin Slater out. Carter back in. On the floor for the beach, they've got Roberts, Carter, DeGeese, Morgan, and Cobb. Pass near side for Cobb with the right hand. Bounces a pass to Roberts. Short baseline left. Looking for shots. shot. Spins off the side of the rim. And a foul. Going against Jordan Roberts. Two free throws coming for Fresno Pacific. And they are now in the double bonus. And Neelan Nilo to the free throw line. Neelan Nilo from Portugal, redshirt freshman. Averaging over eight points a game. Just about four rebounds, makes the first free throw. Next free throw is good. So he makes them both, and it's a seven point beach lead. 35 28, 205 to go. Cobb angles near side in the front court to DeGeese into the circle. Jumper, two pointer up, good. DeGeese has made both of his attempts, and it's 37 28. Here's Fresno Pacific, Coleman on the far side. Pass intended for Hill. Hill had to go in and out of his hands, but he gets it back. Now pass underneath, intercepted by Morgan, beach basketball. 
Up ahead for Cobb. Cobb jogs it into the front court. On the right side, Cobb backing down on Kendricks. Right side of the lane goes up. It's no good. Foul, and Long Beach State headed to the free throw line. Oh no, the foul on Long Beach State. So it's Amande Coleman, the junior from Las Vegas, who steps to the free throw line. And one minute, 30 seconds to play, first half. Coleman's free throw is no good off the back of the rim. Jonathan Brown back into the game for Fresno Pacific. Sean Nilon Nilo to the bench. Coleman, free throw up and good. Sub for Fresno Pacific as Alex Ferguson is back in. Amande Coleman to the bench. Eight point beach lead, 37-29. A minute 30 to go. First half inside the pyramid. Jackson has it up top. Dribbles right, no help, looking for help, stops the dribble, out to Carter. Carter plays it to the right, driving with the right hand. Short corner right now, passes cross court to DeGeese, it's intercepted. On the far side, Fresno Pacific has it, it's Elijah Hill. To Brown, right wing, he drives into the paint. Kicks left corner, Ferguson. Out to Hill, head fake, deep two, no good. Carter the rebound. Fresno Pacific passed up some good looks there. A couple extra passes that didn't need to be made. Now Carter all the way to the bucket. Goes up, gets fouled, and he'll head to the free throw line to shoot two. So Carter at the line to shoot two with 55.7 seconds left. Free throw up and good. 38-29 and Carter with a chance to give the Beach a 10-point lead. Long Beach State's largest lead of the game, 11. Beach from the line in this first half. 13 out of 17, now make it 14 out of 18 as Carter makes them both. 10-point Long Beach State lead, 39-29. Fresno Pacific ball. Coleman in the backcourt brings it across. Watch by DeGeese. DeGeese coming close, applying pressure up high. Looking for help. Pass goes to Hill. Hill has it on the left wing, 12 to shoot. Hill looking to drive into the paint. Jump stop, slings it right corner Brown. Fakes a three, gets a flyby, but he traveled. Brown called for the travel. That gives the ball back to Long Beach State. Two second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. The Beach will try to run as much clock. Carter lets it roll for a moment and picks it up in the backcourt. And we'll see if Long Beach State gets the final shot or not. Here's Carter on the far side dribbling. And a timeout taken by Long Beach State. 20 on the shot clock. What does Domino's know about tacos and burgers? As delivery experts, we know they shouldn't be delivered like this. Thanks for the soggy tacos spread across the bottom of my delivery bag. The burger was wilted. We hate to see anything delivered poorly. We wanted to give you a burger that is designed to be delivered. A taco that was made to deliver right. A taco from Domino's? What? Oh my. The new Domino's cheeseburger pizza. This is our new chicken taco pizza. Now the best way to get a taco or burger delivered is to get a Domino's pizza. That is not a soggy taco. Griffin inbound from the far side and comes near side to DeGeest and then a whistle and is there a foul or did the clock not start? Looks like a clock problem here. They're going to restart here because the game clock went down to 21-3 and they want 21-8 on the clock. Five 
By the way, here during halftime, the back-to-back -back national champion men's volleyball team at Long Beach State is going to be recognized. All right, inbound is Carter with the ball. Pass up high, Griffin. Back to Carter, 14 to shoot. Carter has it up high, trying to drive by Kendrick. Bounces a pass down low, Morgan looking for a shot. It's stripped out of bounds and last touch by Morgan. It's Fresno Pacific ball. With eight seconds left in the first half, they've got it with a chance to get off the final shot. Here they come up the floor, Kai Dirks into the front court to a cutting brown to the basket and he is gonna be called for a travel in the lane. Second straight travel on Brown. Two seconds left now and Long Beach State has a, a shot to get off a shot here. They have to go the length of the floor. Carter, let's see if he chucks it down the floor. Almost a five second violation. He does chuck it to Br Morgan, off to DeGeese. A nice play there but a little too wide, and DeGeese couldn't handle it. It's out of bounds with .1 seconds on the clock. Long Beach State might have had something going there if Morgan could have hit DeGeese, but the pass went out of bounds. Nice look, though. And .1 in. Ferguson will dribble it out. Well, it doesn't really have to. The horn sounds basically... We all want to win championships. We all want to be the best. We all want it to be our time. But the difference between imagining the future and being the future is what you do to get there. Only you can make you better. Get your ice cold, Bud Light, Bud Light. Sell to hip. Even though you can't go to the game, doesn't mean the game can't be brought to you now, hip. Just go to BudLight.com slash delivery. BudLight.com slash delivery. Hey, Bud Light. I'm at eight. Ever wonder where the capital A in Chick-fil-A came from? It started with grade A top quality chicken. But we believed everything, not just the food, should be grade A. A is for all the little things we do to bring you our best every day. To me, the A in Chick-fil-A is a smile. I want to give the guests a little encouragement, maybe just a little joke that makes them laugh when they come through the drive-thru. We can stay six feet apart and have the best air high five. <laughs> Domino's knows a thing or two about delivery. So when we saw people were getting tacos and burgers delivered like these, we had to step in. Introducing our new chicken taco and cheeseburger pizzas. What? Oh my. Now the best way to get a taco or burger delivered is to get a Domino's pizza. Hi, this is my friend Jane from Frontier. And this is how she fixed the fixer-upper. The McGee's just moved into a house. They plan to DIY, but what in the heck? Did they buy? They called Frontier soon. Jane was here. Gave them lots of speed to stream how to's and ditch those money pit blues. Now it's home sweet, high speed home. Moving to a new place? Switch to Frontier with 500 meg internet for $39.99 a month plus taxes and fees. Order Jimmy Johnson, we'll bring it to your car door. Leave it at your front door or have it ready for you at our drive through Just use jimmyjohns.com or our app to tell us what sandwiches, drinks, chips, and cookies you're hungry for. When you want it and how you want it, we're ready. Get your ice cold Bud Light, Bud Light, sell to him. I'll take two. Coming right up. Well, they're not stadium stairs, but they'll still give me that stadium stair rush. What's the score up there? Still time. Ooh. Call someone who needs to hear I love you. Uh, do you have somebody in mind? Yeah, I do. I just wanted to call you. I'm calling just to tell you. I just wanted to call and tell you I love you. Wow, I love you too. <laughs> All right, brother. From right to left, and here we go. And Tunia starts with the ball, dribbling right to the right wing, trying to drive from the wing to the lane. Stopped to the right of the lane by Carter. Gets it out to Coleman. He dribbles into the paint, goes up with the left hand. His floater good. 
And the Sunbirds have the first bucket of the second half. It's an eight point beach lead, 39 to 31. Carter in the front court on the right wing. Dribbles to the top of the key with the left hand to the left elbow. Bounces a pass for Slater along the baseline. He dribbles it back out. Didn't have a look underneath. To Hunter up top. Head fake to the left elbow. Terminates down to the left block Mansell. Backing down on Nilan Nilo. Double team. Loses the ball. And it's taken by Kirby. Touch pass ahead. McKeithen into the paint. All the way to the basket. Off the glass and in. And the Sunbirds on a 4-0 run to make it a six-point game to start the second half. Now Slater on the left wing, catch and shoot three, it is short. And the rebound goes to Fresno Pacific. Coming up the floor with it, Antunez into the front court, all the way to the basket with a right hand, wild layup missed it, and Hunter the rebound. Hunter bounces it back to Carter, and Carter will walk it into the front court as he shouts out a play. Carter on the right wing, dribbling with the left hand. Gets a high screen, Mansell and Morgan, and a foul called. Foul on Antunez. Hunter on the far side to inbound. Hunter into Carter. Carter dribbling with the right hand. Pass to the far side. Hunter dribbling with the right hand into the paint. Lobs it up. Morgan and Morgan able to finish laying it in. Nice find there, Hunter to Morgan, an eight point beach lead, 41-33. Antunez crosses over, dribbles through the circle, stops the left elbow, kick out Coleman, right wing three, short. Rebound taken by Fresno Pacific. Antunez steps on the end line as he tried to pass out to Nilan Nilo, and Fresno Pacific gives it right back to Long Beach State. Beach 41, Sunbirds 33, 18-21 to play in the first half in Mansell, inbound. Gets it into Carter in the backcourt, and Carter brings it up. Carter, yo-yoing the basketball with the right hand, crosses over as he brings it into the front court, dribbling at the top of the key, pass to the right side, goes to Hunter with one hand, the left hand, big slam dunk, and the beach up 10, 43, 33. Kick out, Nilan Nilo, right wing three, short, rebound goes to Fresno Pacific, now Antunia's left wing, gets a flyby, dribbles into the paint, kicks left corner for Kirby, a three up and good, but a whistle first. And Sunbirds out of bounds. I think we've seen now with the deeper three-point line in the corner, we've seen a, a, a few times more already than last year. These players stepping on the sideline with a little less space in the corner. Ten-point lead for the beach as Carter brings it into the front court, flips to Hunter. Hunter dribbles between the legs, driving left of the lane, goes up with the left hand, finger roll off the glass. Nice move by Hunter, smooth. And Hunter now with six. 45 to 33 the score. And now a whistle and a foul on Long Beach State. Oh, they're gonna count the basket too. The foul on Josh Morgan, one free throw coming here. For Amande Coleman. Now, Beach coming up the floor, ball loose on the floor. Who's gonna get it? Fresno Pacific looks like they have it. Now a jump ball called, and the possession arrow will give it to Long Beach State. So it's gonna be Beach ball. On the jump ball call, 17-20 to play here in the second half. Hunter inbounds to the right block for Carter. Foul as he tried to get by Antunez to the basket. 17-18 to play inside the Walter Pyramid. And the beach up by 10, 45-35. Hunter will inbound from the baseline. Beach in their gold jerseys tonight. Hunter inbounds to Mansell, left corner. Over to Carter, top of the key. Carter passes into the paint for Hunter. Hunter lobs it up for Morgan, too strong, but Morgan gets it back, cleans up, finishes 
at the basket. 47-35, the Beach with their largest lead of the game, up 12. On the other end, Kirby loses it down to the left block, gets it back, kicks out. It's Nilan Nilo, right corner three, strong. Hunter the rebound. Chance Hunter working with six points, now five rebounds. Carter, front court, left wing, three, nothing but net. And the Beach up 15, 50 to 35 with 14, uh, rather 16, 40 to play. Inside the pyramid, 15 point Beach lead. Here's Coleman, loses it in the paint. Mansell picks it up. Pass up ahead for Hunter. It's off the back of uh, Kirby's head and taken by McKeithen. So Fresno Pacific with a basketball off a beach turnover, their 16th of the game. They're in the left corner, head fake, driving to the basket. It's Coleman, missed the shot. And the rebound, Mansell, ahead to Carter. Carter in the front court, crosses over into the circle. Pass left corner for Slater. He jumps to catch it. Now hopping up and down into the paint. Kick stop of the key man cell. Left side goes to Carter. Down low to Morgan. Left baseline extended. Over to Mansell. Top of the key, Hunter. Eight to shoot. Hunter backing up. Hunter puts it on the floor. Hunter left. Down to the baseline. Up with a left hand. Uncontested layup. He blew by the defense there. And the beach up 17. They have now made their last six shots on a 13-2 run over the last three minutes. Nice start to the second half for Long Beach State on a 13-2 run after Fresno Pacific scored the first four points of the half. Here's McKeithen on the right wing. Down to the right corner for Kirby. Kirby fakes a pass into the paint, dribbling towards the paint. Kicks out Nilan Nilo for three. Good. 52-38, to and that ends the, the run there. Beach... Six of their last six. 58% from the floor for the game. Mansell, far side to Slater. Slater with the right hand pass to Morgan, right of the circle. Near side to Hunter. Hunter fouled as he tried to move towards the center of the floor, dribbling with his left hand. And that'll bring us to our first time out here in the second half. 15.05 to play. Long Beach State. Good job, it's cool. Bud Light, Bud Light, sell to hip. Bay windows, got two. Nice tuck pointing hip. Retractable awning here, like it. Got the nice edging on the grass here. Edge the grass nice hip. Ice cold Bud Light. Bud Light, sells the hip. Got a white breasted nut hatch hip. Brown, Coleman, and Ferguson on the floor for Fresno Pacific. Inbound goes to Slater on the left wing. Up into the circle for Hunter. Jumper is good. Chance Hunter knocks it down. 54-38, Hunter is starting to fill up the cup here in the second half. Hunter now with 10 points, joining Carter with 12 in double figures. Nilan Nilo, left wing for three. It's good, 54 to 41. Long Beach State has made seven straight shots. Up 13 with 14 and a half to play. Hunter on the right wing. Hunter will rise off the dribble for three. Make it eight in a row. Chance Hunter. Has 13, now six of seven. That was his first three-point attempt. He's got five rebounds and two assists as well. Now on the left side, Antunez. Up to the top for Brown. He'll rise for three. Good look, but missed it off to the right. But the rebound off of Long Beach State and out of bounds. It'll stay with Fresno Pacific. Roberts coming in as Mansell goes to the bench. Brown inbound to the right corner for Coleman. Coleman back to Brown on the right wing. Brown puts it on the floor, kicks out cross court left corner Antunez, and he steps on the sideline. Second time that's happened in this half. So it's beach basketball as Slater brings it into the front court. Dribbling with the right hand, flips it back to Hunter. Hunter will rise from the circle. High arcing shot, no good. The rebound tipped by Morgan over to Cobb Beach with another opportunity. That ends the streak of eight straight shots made for the Beach. Now Roberts up top, puts it on the floor at the free throw line. Dishes to Cobb, bounce pass underneath Morgan. Good positioning, but he missed the layup. Gets it back, put back, no, but he's going to the line to shoot two. Josh Morgan to the free throw line where he is one for three tonight. A 
made free throw for Morgan here would give him 10 points. Josh Morgan would tie his career high in his fifth game. Free throw for Morgan is up and no good. Now one for four from the line and three straight misses from the free throw line. He hit his first free throw of the game. He started the game with a three-point play. Next free throw up, no good, he missed both, but Cobb keeps it alive, off to Carter, Carter down low, fouled going to the line. No, Carter to shoot two. Carter's free throw up and good. Well, 58 41, Carter back to the line. He's got 13. They say Hunter has 10. That is not correct. They must have given Hunter's three to somebody else. All right, here's Antonia is driving, stops the left elbow, puts up a short jumper, and it's good. 59-43, now pass up the floor, Cobb. Down on the left block, pass out to Carter, top of the key, three, up, no good. Rebound tipped up by Irish, taken by Brown. Here comes Fresno Pacific the other way. Brown with a Euro step, trying to evade a defender, missed the layup. Cobb the other way, beach in transition. Cobb into the circle, harassed by two defenders. Out to Jordan Roberts, left wing. Roberts into the paint, has it tipped away. And a jump ball call. Possession arrow gives it to Fresno Pacific. So 59-43 with 12-54. And Fresno Pacific brings it up the floor. Into the front court. McKeithen, swing it left to Hill. Top of the key goes to Coleman. Coleman dribbles to the right elbow. Kicks right wing, McKeithen. Over to Ferguson, left of the circle. Fakes out Irish, drives down low. Met by two defenders, goes up and gets fouled. Alex Ferguson headed to the free throw line. Free throw from Ferguson up. No good. 59-43. Still our score. Beach up 16. Chance to geese into the games. Chance Hunter goes to the bench. And Ferguson's second free throw is good. 59-44. Beach lead by 15. 12-30 to play. Carter into the front court for Cobb on the right wing. Dribbling with the left hand, driving down the lane, stops the dribble, looking for help. Lobs it out to Roberts near side above the three-point line. Down low to the post for Irish. Faces up on Ferguson, puts it on the floor. Looking to get it out to Carter, fouled as he does. Sixth team foul on the Sunbirds, fouls on Ferguson. Ferguson second. And the beach will inbound with 20 on the shot clock. Roberts inbounds to Carter, short corner right. Carter holds it high above his head, looking down low for Roberts, finds him. Roberts, jump stop, turns with the right shoulder, shot is short. And the rebound to Fresno Pacific. McKeithen in the backcourt, guarded closely by Cobb. Cobb's going to get called for a foul. 12.03 to play. Foul on the beach, their fourth. Third foul on Drew Cobb. Cobb's got eight points, six rebounds in this one. 
Colin Slater is coming into the game. Drew Cobb is headed for the bench. 59 to 44 with 12.03 to go. Fresno Pacific ball, 25 to shoot. And inbound, it's Hill from the far side at the top of the key to Ferguson. Swings it left to McKeithen, guarded by Roberts. McKeithen, top of the key, Ferguson, fakes a shot, puts it on the floor, picks it up, bounces a pass to Hill. Right baseline, jumper no good, and McGeast, DeGeast, the rebound. DeGeast into the front court, jump pass to Carter. Carter through the lane, kicks to Slater, left corner, gets the fly by, short corner left, jumper from Slater is good. Colin Slater's second field goal. He's got four points and three assists. Beach up 17, 61, 44. Ferguson at the top of the key. Holds it high above his head, looking to get it down low. Still holding, puts it on the floor, bounces the pass near side, Brown. Roberts has the steal, coming back the other way, all alone, one-handed slam dunk with the right hand. Roberts with the strip and the score, and Long Beach State up by 19, 63, 44, 11, 10 to go. Here's Brown into the front court, right wing, pass top of the key, Ferguson, dribbles left, pass into the left corner for McKeithen, he dribbles it out towards the wing, down to Ferguson in the left corner, driving to the basket, double teamed and fouled as Trevor Irish jumped and then landed on his back, and that's going to keep the ball with Fresno Pacific, and they'll have it when we come back after this timeout. Beach 63, Sunbirds 44, 10.56 left. We all want to win championships. We all want to be the best. We all want it to be our time. But the difference between imagining the future and being the future is what you do to get there. Only you can make you better. Downs to Hill. Hill trying to drive on Slater. Driving left baseline under the basket. Bounce pass right corner Ferguson. Looking to get it out. Pass is tipped. Brown has it on the left wing. Top of the key to Coleman for three. It is an air ball and out of bounds. Nothing but air for Coleman. 63-44, 10-41 to go. Beach up 19. This is their largest lead of the game. Michael Carter the third into the front court. Right corner to Geese. Takes a shot. Back to Carter. Good look right of the circle. 4-3. No good. Rebound tipped. Ferguson's got it. Ahead for Hill, Hill along the near side into the front court. Hill dribbling with the left hand, whistle, foul away from the ball, going on Max DeGeese in Long Beach State. Antunez back into the game for Fresno Pacific. And Brown inbounding baseline left. Bounces it in for Coleman. Stolen by Irish. Tips it off to Slater. Slater into the front court for Carter. Right corner, fakes a three, driving right baseline. Up with two hands and a big finish from MC3. Michael Carter the third, 65-44. He leads all scorers with 16. 65-44. Here's Antonez with the left hand. Dribbles to the left wing. Pass to the far side, Ferguson above the three-point line. Bounces it down to the baseline for Coleman. Backs down on Roberts, looking for a shot. Slings it out with the left hand to Ferguson to the left wing for Hill. Ten to shoot. Hill stopped at the elbow. Out to Brown. He drives into the paint. Dishes for Coleman. His shot up. No, but a foul. Foul is on Trevor Irish. And two free throws coming for Amande Coleman. So Creighton today defeated Cal Poly, 86-70. Cal Poly dropping to one and four. The non-conference records for the rest of the Big West. We got Hawaii and UC Riverside at three and two. UC Irvine is three and three. Cal State Fullerton, two and two. Davis is two and four. Then you've got Long Beach State and UC Santa Barbara at one and three. Cal Poly, one and four, and CSUN, oh and five. Tough start to the year for the Big West. 
Bowman's free throw is up and rattles around before it falls through. Makes one out of two. It's 65-45 with 9.30 to play. Here's Carter. Short corner right. Down low for Irish. Irish heavily guarded. Gets it out to the left corner. A three attempt from DeGeese. No good. Rebound Fresno Pacific. Antonez into the front court. Driving with a left hand down to the left block. Kicks out to Brown. Into the paint for Coleman. Goes up with the right hand off the window. No, but a foul. Foul on Jordan Roberts. Two free throws coming again for Coleman. Amande Coleman at the line. Coleman's scored 12. That would be his career high. I'm not sure if they're going to count the stats, though, if they would say, okay, this is his career high, considering the game doesn't count for Fresno Pacific's record. Long Beach State coming up the floor after the free throws there. 65-47, Beach up 18. De Geest into the paint, looking for a shot. Fouled by Fresno Pacific. Foul on Coleman. That's Coleman's third. And De Geest at the line. I believe he's shooting one and one here. The Beach into the bonus. Yep, one and one for DeGeest. First free throw is good. He'll get another. DeGeest now with six points. First trip to the line for him. First trip to the line for him in his career as well. Chance Hunter into the game for Long Beach State as Colin Slater goes to the bench. It's Irish, Mansell, DeGeest, Carter, and Hunter on the floor for the beach right now. Makes free throw up, no good. Mansell the rebound. Out to Carter, out of the circle, fakes a three. Goes to Hunter, top of the key. Puts it on the floor, triples to the far side. Pass up to Carter on the logo. 12 to shoot. Carter holds by his thigh and dribbles around the screen from Irish. Goes to Hunter, left wing, high arcing three. It's good, his second of the game. Chance Hunter with 16 points now. Two for two from beyond the arc, seven of nine from the floor. Here's Hill down low for Coleman against Irish. Goes up and he's able to beat the seven footer and gets the roll. 69 49. Carter lobs down low for Irish. His layup no good as he got himself into too deep of a spot. And the rebound goes to Fresno Pacific as Hill brings it into the front court, weaving through traffic. Stops right of the lane. Wild shot off the glass is good. 69-51, eight minutes left here as Carter comes into the front court and they call a timeout, 7.58. Ever wonder where the capital A in Chick-fil-A came from? It started with grade A top quality chicken, but we believed everything, not just the food, should be grade A. A is for all the little things we do to bring you our best every day. To me, the A in Chick-fil-A is for above and beyond. I know that I, I need encouragement right now, and I know that our guests need encouragement. It's about making sure that they know that we care about them and that we're going above and beyond for them in all the details. 20 to shoot for the beach. Pass to the high post, Mansell at the free throw line. Faces up on Nilo Nilo and into the paint. Goes up with the right hand and finishes. Romel well, Mansell's first field goal on his first attempt. Three points, four rebounds for the freshman. And the beach up 20. On the far side, McKeithen to a cutting Coleman who gets to the basket and lays it in. 71-53, 7.34 to go. Carter quickly into the front court. Mansell over to set a screen. Carter dribbles right down to the right block. Little floater up off the window. No, didn't get the roll. Mansell tips up the loose ball, but it's taken by... Uh, Kendricks off to Antonez. He drives to the basket. He lays it in. 
Hunter's arm came flying by, trying to swat it away, but he couldn't catch up to it. The Sunbirds on a little 4-0 run here. Here's Hunter up top, dribbles to the top of the circle, a whistle and a foul on McKeithen. It's going to send Chance Hunter to the free throw line. Hunter's sitting on 16 points with an opportunity to reach a new career high tonight. His career high, 21. But a timeout on the floor, under eight timeout with... here to shoot one and one. Long Beach State will head to Tucson tomorrow. They play Arizona Sunday evening at 5.30. It's our next broadcast. We hope to have you with us. And then the beach will play on Thanksgiving as they start the Wooden Legacy. You know, technically, Sunday is a campus game of the Wooden Legacy. But uh, they'll play at the Anaheim Convention Center on Thanksgiving Day at 11 a.m. against Providence. So this uh, long pause in between games... Coming to an abrupt end as the beach will play four games between today and next Friday. Free throw good, 73-55 Long Beach State with seven minutes to go. On the far side, McKeithen holds against Hunter. Foul away from the ball. Breon Jackson called for the foul. And Amande Coleman at the line, shooting one and one. Coleman, free throw, up and no good. Rebound, Carter. Carter up the floor, into the front court. Calling Mansell to come over to set a screen. Carter dribbles left around it, into the circle. Jump pass to DeGeese left corner. He drives into the paint, and there's a foul. Sending Max DeGeese to the free throw line. That foul called against Antonez. Adrian Antonez, the junior from Fresno. Drew Cobb's going to come into the game. A couple of subs coming for Fresno Pacific. Kai Dirks and Elijah Hill into the game. Antonez and Ilan Nilo go to the bench for Fresno Pacific. The Geese at the free throw line. Shooting one and one. 19 fouls on the Sunbirds, 18 fouls on the beach. The Geese's free throw up and rattles around before falling through. Max De Geese with seven points, two for three from the line. Each led by Hunter and Carter, each with 16 points in this one. Free throw from De Geese up and good. Each back up 20, 75-55. DeGeest off the floor. Drew Cobb back on to the floor. Six minutes, 46 seconds to go. And FPU with the ball. As Kai Dirks, the freshman from Carson at a Price High School, brings it into the front court. Top of the key. Down low, shot no good. Rebound, Jackson. Ahead for Carter. Carter into the front court right wing. Dribbles between the legs. Dribbles to the free throw line. Crosses over. Out to Cobb. Cobb into the paint. Spins. Little eight-foot floater. Nice touch. It's good. 77-55. Drew Cobb's got 10 points and six rebounds tonight. Beach shooting 55% for the game. 26 of 47. Here's Dirks dribbling down low. And an offensive foul called on Ty Dirks. It was MC3 who drew the foul going to the floor. Now Colin Slater coming in for the beach. Two come in for Fresno Pacific. Fouls on Ty Dirks, 10th team foul. Offensive foul, though, won't send the beach to the free throw line. Colin Slater brings it in along the left sideline. 
Into the front court, triple teamed up high. Finds Hunter, left wing, wide open three. No, Cobb gets the rebound, puts it back up and gets fouled. Foul on Dirks, who picks up his second here quickly. And Cobb to the line to shoot two. Fresno Pacific. They next play Cal State Monterey Bay and then Cal State East Bay. To give you an idea of some of the opponents they have, then they'll play Academy of Art, Holy Names, and Azusa Pacific. Cobb's first free throw, no good. Second one up and good. Excuse me, that was his first. Drew Cobb from the free throw line, now five for five with 11 points. Next free throw from Cobb. It is up, and it is good. 79-55, Long Beach State. 5.52 to go. Here is Fresno Pacific bringing it up. Dirks bounces a pass to the high post for Hill. Off to Coleman. Coleman into the paint. Stops the dribble. Stripped. Cobb coming back the other way. Two on two. Lobs it up for Hunter. Way too high. Out of bounds. And then Hunter almost ran into some camera men at the... Back of the end line area. 5.38 to go. Jordan Griffin into the game. Drew Cobb coming out. Here's Ferguson. Swing it left to Dirks. 18 to shoot. Dirks puts it on the floor. Out to the top of the key for Kirby. Now to Ferguson, left to the circle, three off the left. Rebound Hunter. Hunter pushes it up the floor. Hunter coming up along the left side of the lane with a left hand, finishes going coast to coast. Chance Hunter. 18 points on eight of 10. Here's Dirk's right corner. Out to McKeithen. Left wing. Goes to Hill. Hill dribbling against Mansell. Fakes him out, driving underneath. Wild shot. No, but a foul. Boy, that was some fancy dribble work there from Elijah Hill. Elijah Hill at a Centennial High School in Bakersfield. At the line shooting two with the beach up by 26, 81, 55, 448 to go. Free throw good. Next shot from Hill. Next free throw. No good. Ball loose on the floor. Picked up by Ferguson. Fresno Pacific ball. McKeithen driving the lane. Kicks out to Kirby. Swing it to Ferguson. Right corner for Kirby. The three no good. And the rebound, Jordan Griffin. Griffin, four and a half minutes left. Into the front court. Here's Hunter on the right wing. Hunter fakes a pass left. Flips it to Slater. Slater will pass to Mansell up high. Over to the left wing for Griffin. 15 to shoot. Griffin backs up above the three-point line to Jackson above the right elbow. Off to Slater. Slater holds. Left of his hip to Mansell, top of the key. Far side Hunter, three to shoot, two to shoot. Hunter, top of the key, four, three, got a good look. It's good, he buries it. Chance Hunter, 21 points, ties his career high. Beach up 84-56. Now McKeithen loses the ball. Mansell picks it up off to Slater. Beach running it. Hunter into the front court and called for the offensive foul. We had a good angle on that one, and that was not a good call. 3.49 to go. Timeout on the floor. 84-56. Write an uplifting word on a rock and give it to someone. Excuse me, guys. I just wanted to give you a rock here that says to spread love. Thank you. 
You're okay. welcome. Thank you so okay, much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you so <laughs> I much. I hope you have a really nice day. Oh, you made it really nice. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Now Slater up the floor, bounces it to Irish with a two-handed slam dunk. Good transition bucket there for the beach. Here come the Sunbirds. Pass to the right corner, Hill for three, short. The rebound goes to a skying Drew Cobb on the strong side. Pass up ahead, Slater. Slater under the basket, up for a shot and fouled. And... Uh, Free throws coming for Colin Slater. So Slater at the line, shooting two. Free throw is good. Getting a look right now at the Long Beach State men's volleyball national championship ring that was handed out to the players, coaches, staff today. What a good looking ring. The LB logo, national champions, 28 and two record back to back. 310 to go, 88-56, Long Beach State up by 32. Here's McKeithen on the left wing, stops the dribble. Off to the right corner, Ferguson. He'll fire up a three. That's no good. And the loose ball tipped out of bounds by Fresno Pacific. It'll be beach basketball. It's also the pyramid on the ring, as well as the last names of the recipients. Yeah, very nice. All right, a sub for the beach as Jeffrey Yan comes into the game. And Jeffrey Yan getting a nice ovation from the crowd. First time he's played here at home. He got into the game at Stanford last week, making his collegiate debut, and looked pretty good. He'll play the final three minutes here. Irish flips to Griffin. Beach up 32. Griffin bounces a pass to Yan above the three-point line. Puts it on the floor. Hands it off to Slater. Pats right back to Yan. Up with the left hand. Didn't get the roll. Irish the rebound. He's trying to put it up, holding the ball above his defenders. Now he'll dribble it out. Pass to Slater in and out of his hands, but cleaned up by Griffin. 15 to shoot. Griffin up top. Griffin driving left of the lane, looking for help. Down to Yan on the right block. Bounce pass over to Irish, and Irish wasn't expecting it. And it bounces right by Trevor Irish and out of bounds. Each on a 17 to 1 run over the last 4 minutes and 15 seconds. And completely pulled away here. It's a 10 point game at half, and right now it's a 32 point game. On the left wing, McKeithen. McKeithen with 2.08 to go. Pass to Dirks around a screen. Right wing, pass left wing going to Kirby. Back out to Dirks. Three pointer no, but cleaned up underneath by AJ Kirby. A minute 50 to go, 30 point lead for the beach, 88 58. Here's Griffin, dribbling with the right hand. Pass to Slater, right wing. No rise for three. No good. Rebound at the weak side. For McKeithen. McKeithen up along the sideline into the front court. He'll rise for a deep two, and that's good over Jeffrey Yan. 88 to 60, a minute 30 to go. Into the front court, Griffin. He'll rise, deep three from the right wing. Got it. Jordan Griffin's first three of the game. He's got four points. And now everybody but Jeffrey Yan has scored a point. We'll see if the beach can change that. 91 60 the score, a minute 15 left. Up top, it's Hill. To the right wing for Dirks, driving the paint. Kicks out left wing. Kirby thought about a three. Instead to McKeithen, he'll rise for three. That's no good. And out of bounds to Long Beach State. One minute, two seconds left. 11 beach players have scored in this game. Let's see if they can get a bucket for Yan. It would give uh, Yan his first field goal as a college basketball player. He had a free throw last week against Stanford. Here's Irish in the high post. Out of the right wing for Griffin. Griffin crosses over. He'll rise again for the right side. No, it's short. And the rebound goes to Fresno Pacific. Up the floor. It's Hill. 
Hill angles to the far side. Pass to Ferguson. On the right wing, he drives to the basket, goes up, lays it in. 91-62. Inbound to Griffin. Griffin will bring it in to the front court. On the right wing, Griffin crosses over. 24 seconds left. Beach up by 29. Pass down low intended for Yan. Tipped out of bounds by Fresno Pacific. Three-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Griffin to inbound in the right baseline. Griffin into Yan. Short corner right to DeGeest. Over to Griffin. Griffin down to the right block. Looking for Yan. Instead out to DeGeest. DeGeest down low for Yan. Yan making a move with the right hand. Goes up. Gets the bucket. And the Long Beach State bench erupts. And that's the biggest cheer of the night for the Pyramid crowd. Six seconds left as Fresno Pacific comes into the front court. McKeithen kicks out. Three-point attempt from Dirks. In and out. No good. And that ends the game. Long Beach State, 93. Fresno Pacific, 62. And the Beach, as if they just won a Big West title, are going to celebrate with Jeffrey Yan, who just hit his first field goal as a college basketball player. Nice moment for Jeffrey, the Shanghai native. The Beach with the 31 points.